Hey, hey you, yes you, see all these wonderful people right here? They are my Patreons. With the support I get from them, I can afford to do my passion as a career and bring you guys weekly videos. Want to join them? For just $1 a month, you can get videos 24 hours before anyone else. And for even higher tiers, you can get Polaroids, letters, and mystery boxes from me to you. And even fursuit parts, not to mention my eternal thanks. So what are you waiting for? Become a Patreon today via the link in the description. Thanks again, enjoy the video. Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to a Q&A, a Q&A, because I need video ideas, so I'm going to be answering your questions. All of these questions are coming from my Discord today, so the link to, to join that will be down below in the description, so if you want to hang out there, I'm fairly active on it, like I'm active every other day, I'll go into voice chat, so if you want to chat with me and ask me questions and give video ideas, all of that, the link will be down below. This one is from Call Me Egg Sky. How did you get into warriors slash warrior cats? Uh, actually from my housemate Remy, who was reading it and all my friends were talking about it and I'm like, what is this thing? I feel like I've missed out on something from like preschool, primary school. I've just started the first book of Omen of the Stars, but I've been listening to the audiobooks and I've been really, really liking it. And I have my own warriors OC, which is Willow Gaze, it's a medicine cat. She's so cute, I really like her. This one is from EW Spirit. What is the best way to store luxury shag to prevent it from getting to prevent it from getting creased and slash messy on rolls? We all store our fur on bolts, so they're like the big cardboard stick things, and we basically just roll it up and we stick it in the shelves so that it can basically sit rolled up and nice and flat. If it does get creased, um, don't worry, you can heat treat it. I have a tutorial for that on my Patreon, so be sure to check that out if you're interested in how to fix it, if it happens to you. All right, this one's from Autistic Artist. If you make a new fursuit of Sky in any other species than she is originally, what would it be and would you make that suit a reality someday? See, I was going to make her an angel dragon <laughs> once upon a very long time ago. But I think that nowadays I might make her into a cat. Like, I feel like she'd look cute as a little winged, like, Maine Coon or something. All right, this one is from Axon. Said, what do you think about heelless, high heel animal feet poor things? And what material do you think would be best to shape the feet out of? I'm assuming you're talking about these kinds of digi legs, where basically it's you, you chop off the heel. Um, there's different ways to do it. You can do it with stilts and all these fancy things. Uh, they look like a broken ankle waiting to happen, in my opinion. Of course, I've never worn them and I can barely walk in heels as it is. Uh, if you're talking about what's probably the best to make the feet out of, foam, foam, like normal feet. Nothing too interesting to say on that. I'd love to give it a try, maybe one day. Maybe I'll make a realistic sky and she can have the big long leggies or something, I don't know. Did any of you get into old 2000s toys at their time? Like Blade Bade, Bakugan, Etc. I mean, I wasn't really, I know my friends were really into Bakugan, little Rolly boys. They were really cool. I thought they were really neat, but I never really collected them. My sister was really into Lilith's Pet Shops back in the day when they weren't cursed. Uh, this one is from Slipsy. What do you think of Use Your Own Eyes suits? I think they're really neat and they certainly do have a place here. Um, Magpie Bones is incredible for it. If you haven't checked out their stuff, please do. It's a bit uncanny valley, but I think they're stunning. And like you have to do makeup so your eyes blend in and wear like contact lenses and stuff. It's very, very cool. I really actually quite like them. Um, I don't think I'd ever own one myself personally, but I, they're really cool to look at and really interesting, especially in person. I've seen a couple of them in person. They're really, really interesting. What more rare or uncommon species would you like to see as fursuits? Cows and like sheep and goats, hooved farm animals. I'd love to see them. They're so cute. I really want to get my boy Fergus made eventually. So that would be really neat. Uh, from Neptune Wolfie, how do you wash fursuits with electronics? You don't, you don't. Unless they're removable somehow, you really don't want water anywhere near that. Sorry. Yeehaw asks, actually I can probably get your username up. No, that is just Yeehaw. Uh, what sexuality do you identify as? Also, I'm pretty sure somewhere you said you're polyamorous. So how many partners do you have at the moment? Love your work, stay awesome. I am pansexual polyamorous. That's why I have this pillow. It says, always hunting. And it's, it's a little raptor and it has pansexual, pansexual colors and polyamorous colors. 
Um, pansexuality means I'm a, I can be attracted to everyone regardless of their gender. And polyamorous means I like I can have more than one partner. At the moment, I only have Bolt, and that's not looking like it's going to change for a while because whilst polyamory is awesome and amazing and complicated, it's hard. It's really hard. And I don't think I can mentally handle a second relationship right now. But for now, got my wolf. He's a good boy. I love him very much. Husky Seas asks, did you ever have a scary convention experience? If so, what happened? Well, it was the first time I attended this con in question and I was actually running their lighting. So I was doing all their lighting and sound and stuff. And I would stay down on the dance floor the entire time, refilling the room with haze and making sure the lights were working fine and all of that. And of course we'd asked the, because um, when you use a smoke machine, you have to ask the venue to isolate the space, is what it's called which basically means they turn off the smoke detectors. So I was pressing the button on the smoke machine, I was filling it with smoke, and then all of a sudden, you just hear boop, boop, boop. And I was like, what, what? No way, no, 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 no. No way, no, no way, we isolated the space. We did, we did. We had to have done that, surely. And so here I was, so everybody was evacuated because of the fire alarm going off. And I was like, shit, the con organizers, they're gonna, they're gonna kill me. They're gonna <laughs> have my head on a plate. I put, obviously put too much smoke or something. Ah, and we went outside, everybody went outside. It was all good, it was all good. The fire department came, they were like, yeah, nah, you're right. What we reckon happened is in people opening and closing the door, um, all the, some smoke got let out into the foyer and they didn't isolate that space. And that's what triggered the fire alarms. I mean, the other theory is that somebody was turning their room into a hot box, which also would not surprise me in the slightest. Yeah, that was probably my scariest convention experience because I thought I was gonna have to pay the fire department fees and stuff, because I was like, ah, oh, shit, I fucked up. But yes, that was probably my scariest convention experience. Sushi's kinda sus, this is from. Have you ever passed out in your suit at a con? No, but I got very close. I um, was dancing at Ferdu one time and I just noticed I was dancing. I was like, yeah, yeah, I was having a good time. I was in full suit. And all of a sudden I noticed I was very, very tired all of a sudden. And I was like, huh, that's weird. Oh, well, you know, I usually sleep at nine. It's about 11. That probably makes sense. I got in the lift and I suddenly felt very, very sick. I was like, oh dear. So I took my head off and somebody in the lift got shitty at me for ruining the magic. And I was just like, I remember getting up to my room kind of like instantly taking, stripping off my suit and lying down on the bed. I like took my temperature by sticking like my hand underneath my armpit and like, you know, my forehead. And I was, it was so hot. I was overheating something crazy and I was feeling so dizzy. So I chugged an entire bottle of Caterade and ran myself a lukewarm bath. Cause you can't, you shouldn't have like a cold bath. It should be like room temperature. Cause otherwise you risk shocking your body. I got in it and I sat there until my body wasn't hot, which took till about 2 a.m. Uh, I didn't really pass out, but I almost got heat stroke, which is not excellent. Anyway, thank you all on my Discord for those questions. You guys are the bestest. And if you guys have questions, feel free to join my Discord and pop them in the hashtag Q&A questions channel. You can leave them down below, or you can email me at heyskylookatthis at gmail.com. Whichever way works, I do receive all of them. And ones that I deem that are suitable for a video, I will answer. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I will see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe. Did you guys know that only about 30% of the people who watch my videos are actually subscribed to me? So 70%, I'm looking at you 70%. You're gonna hit that subscribe button down there and you're gonna hit that bell right now because I'm a dog and I say so. Anyway, bye bye